take uh, number one. Okay, hello everybody, I hope you're doing fine. So, uh, I had a few comments about the sound in my video, so I decided to buy this little microphone. I hope you appreciate it and that the sound will be better for you. My wound is going way better, it has even paint on it. It's gonna like make a super sexy scar, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> All art is political. As artists, you know, we want to change the world. I really want the world to change because we, we live in a horrible world, a horrible capitalist world. I really want to change that. This piece of art is the solution to all the problems of the world. This piece of art uh, denounces the power of phallocracy, the power of men on women. And I wanted to represent the, the men falling down. Yeah, it can turn because the world is, the world is moving, the world is changing and we're gonna change the world. This piece of art is the solution. We also have the racism issue. We, have, we live in a society where a lot of racism exists and I want to fight this racism. So yes, Black Lives Matter for all. This piece of art is the solution. And then we have sexuality, you know. All sexualities are okay, I mean, it's, if it's a, a neck plant with a neck plant, no problem. A peach with a peach, no problem. I am open to all sexualities and we have to stop, stop discrimination. This piece of art is the solution. Then we have another problem of society, which is the money. The money, money is a big problem of, of capitalism. We can see that money is flying away. Capitalism creates money and money flies away. This piece of art is the solution. Another issue of a society is ecology. Plastic is death. This piece of art is the solution and you're consuming, putting likes, evaluating everybody. And this is meritocracy. Art is here to convince <laughs> yeah. people. No, no, this was really, uh, sorry, I went maybe a little too far with that, but I thought it was really uh, funny because uh, these types of artists really exist and they are really funny to make fun of because I think it's not the good uh, political strategy. And this is exactly of today's uh, video, the topic of today's video, because the way they do, they create a kind of definition of art. When you produce a piece of art, it denotes a definition of art. And this is political, the definition of your art. Art is here to convince uh, people. And I personally don't believe that art is made uh, to convince people. It's not like a political uh, debate because it's about what do you produce in terms of reaction? What do you produce in terms of reaction? And that's really uh, interesting because it's related to the fact that when you're an artist, you decide to do something for somebody else. And last week we saw that an attitude could denote something, but when you're an artist, you do it for somebody else. And that is uh, already a kind of uh, a political uh, engagement because you do it for somebody and you want a reaction from this audience. When I was in, in art school, it was funny, we had this, these discussions about art and politics all the time because, you know, you're constructing your identity when you're uh, in art school. And my friend Martin Jacob, uh, I'm going to put the link of his website in the description, an amazing artist. He once told me, yeah, but you know, Darren, I, I don't think I, I need to do political art because uh, the fact of deciding to be an artist uh, is about producing useless objects and this is already political. And I thought it was brilliant. Art as being a space of resistance to the world efficiencies and, and stuff like that. It really made me think because what, what did his sentence me meant? It meant that you can think your artistic practice not as how do you, will you convince people but just the fact of having an artistic practice what does it mean? What type of definition of art do you want to give through that? You always try to produce, whatever you do, it produces a definition of how art should interact with society. And this is really political. For example, and I'm really sorry for the people who hate him. I hate him also, uh, but Jeff Koons, uh, you, you know Jeff Koons, he does these like all these pop uh, figures, uh, like uh, he did all these big balloons, really reproduces a whole, a whole bunch of stuff of, of the popular culture. He's the kind of businessman because he also worked in an enormous studio in New York with uh, lots of assistants and he's just reproducing, you know, a, a capitalist model in the way he works but also in the form he produces. And I think it's interesting politically because it's just that his definition of art is that art is just a kind of mirror of society. It's just a comment. It's just like reproducing something uh, from uh, society and make it enormous. And uh, I wanted to, to show you a little interview of Jeff Koons, uh, but I think we don't have the time. And also he really freaks me out. L look at his face. Look at this, this face. For artists working in America today, he's also one of the most controversial. He, you know, he freaks me out. No, I can't. Uh, yeah, no. 
he's like this kind of weird guru, you know, and I'm, I'm quite fascinated by Jeff Koons because he's a weird figure. You can ask yourselves, okay, but am I in like engagement, like uh, this I'm guy? I'm change the world. Yeah. Or uh, am I in resignation, like uh, our friend Jeff Koons? You know, I'm actually very, very skilled. Um, well, often we think that this dichotomy uh, about engagement or resignation in, in, in like politic, political activism or stuff like that. But artistically, we have a third path, uh, not only as artistically, which is the dissensus. It's something between the uh, resignation and between engagement. And that will be the topic of next week's uh, video about the dissensus. It comes from this uh, writer, uh, Jacques Rancière, that I really love. Uh, and we're going to try to see how can an artist create a dissensus, which is the opposite of the ordinary political uh, consensus. Ow. I hope you appreciated this video. If it's the case, please give us a like. Uh, give a like like that. Uh, no, no, I can't do it like that. Leave a comment in the comment section uh, below, uh, please. Also, and if it's not done yet, please subscribe to this channel. Great. Tschüss. In French, you say um, a gif is like a, a hit and in, in beats is a dick so you say um, in gif, in, in bif, which is like hitting with a dick so I'm gonna try to get a, a bif. Ow. Yeah, okay, I got my bif. <laughs> <laughs>